The famous Munster Express is three centuries old, but many of the staff have joined this institution in their 20s. We have a great love for this place. A lot of us have grown up here and have been in here from quite an early age. Kieran Foley, the youngest reporter, was just 19 when he started. And at today's editorial, he prepares to reveal a potential Hollywood scoop. What about her upcoming stories? What yeah, I have that story, Kieran, of uh, George Clooney's first cousin, Miguel Ferrer. He was out in Tullahawk last week. Miguel? Uh, Miguel Ferrer, F E R R E R. Yeah. He's been in um, a couple of high profile US series like Desperate Housewives, and he had a role in one of the recent Iron Man films and Star Trek as well. So he would be well known. Yeah. That's him, picture there. All oh, right. His wife and some of the locals. Yeah. And he was in Powers Pub as well, and he pulled a pint oh, yeah, of Guinness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, that's yeah, good. I'm working on the guy who was bringing him around um, said that he may want to speak to actually yeah. thank some of the local people for the hospitality yeah. which he received when he was in the area. So it'd be great to actually speak to him directly. That's good. And George Clooney, is there a photograph of him with the cousin? Have we a picture of George Clooney? Two together? Yeah. Oh, I could have a look and see, yeah. yeah that would be fine, that might tie, tie the story tie better. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have a George Clooney pic. You know, there's been a lot of speculation that George might be visiting at some stage mm. during the year. Is this maybe a lead up to it? Hopefully, if he goes back with a good report, it might encourage George to come <laughs> over as well. Um, well that's the suggestion that he should be invited, perhaps, you know? Because sometimes. Like, I remember there was Muhammad Ali ended up going to, to Clare or something. Mm. And the, the fear, yeah, right? and, it, and it, it wouldn't happen if you didn't get an invitation. Make it a campaign for the newspaper. <laughs> get, get George Clooney to Tallahawk. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Yeah, great song. With a deadline looming, Kieran tries to contact LA for that exclusive interview with Miguel Ferrer, George Clooney's cousin. They should have asked me. I have George on speed dial. Hi Pat, Kieran Foley here in the Munster. I'm just working on the deadline to get this story finished, so if you could give me a call back when you get a chance, please. Okay, so I went to Vice Mail. So um, I'll give him a call maybe in another few minutes again, just to check in, but uh, hopefully he'll get back to me. In Waterford, Munster Express journalist Kieran Foley is chasing a phone call with George Clooney's cousin and Hollywood actor Miguel Ferrer. But Kieran's LA contact is proving hard to reach. No, vice man again. And Kieran isn't the only one waiting for a word on the interview. News editor Dermot Keyes has his eyes on the clock. It'd be nice to think maybe between now and you know two and three today, uh, hopefully uh, someone or himself uh, will be back in touch with Kieran and we can really make as much of a fuss of the story as we can. Finally, a text from LA. I just got a text from him. Sorry, can't talk right now. So maybe he could be with someone. He could be in at a meeting maybe. But at least he's acknowledged that I called him anyway. So all hope's not lost. <laughs> At the Monster Express, Kieran Foley is feeling the pressure. To book a place for the story, Kieran needs to get it to Dermot as soon as possible. And with the deadline looming, he tries Miguel's contact again to chase the interview with the Hollywood star. Hello, Pat. Kieran here, yeah, how are you? Five minutes, no problem. Yeah, you got my email, did you? Oh, I know, yeah. You can assure him it's only like, I mean, it's very, it's harmless. I mean, you know, we just want to find out about the impression he got of the area. I'll leave it with you. There's a time difference. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks very much, Pat. Yeah, talk to you soon. Bye, bye. Okay, so the update is he was speaking with Miguel over the weekend and he's quite happy for me to do a story on his visit and to use the photographs that I have. Um, 
Pat had asked him about speaking with me individually and he kind of wondered, he said, all right, well, what does this guy want? You know, I suppose as a actor, he may be wondering if I have another, if I have another agenda. People think automatically when a journalist wants to speak with them that they're digging for dirt, they're looking for skeletons in their closet. And that might be the case sometimes, but it's not always the case. It's nearing the end of the day at the Monster Express and Kieran Foley has received the call he's been waiting for. His LA contact has rung him to tell him whether or not he can conduct a phone interview Jesus. with Hollywood actor and George Clooney's cousin, Miguel Ferrer. Okay. So he's, ha he's happy for me to go ahead and do a piece, but he's, he's just a little bit reluctant to speak to me personally. Yep, talk to you soon. Bye, bye. Kieran may not have got the interview, but he did get direct quotes from Miguel about his time in Ireland. It's, it's still a scoop for us. It's still a story that nobody else hopefully will have. And as I said, you know, there probably won't be another regional paper in Ireland this week who will have direct quotes from a Hollywood actor. So, <laughs> And one of these quotes is big news for the paper and South Kilkenny. Mr. Ferrer informed locals that he was already planning a return trip to Ireland, so that has been confirmed by him. OK, so any news of George? No, haven't any updates on that. I'm afraid Miguel is as good as we're getting this week. But <laughs> in the grander scheme of things, I'm happy with the story because it is a story that hasn't been reported yet, so we will have the scoop on it. I imagine there'll be an awful lot of interest in it. And maybe get the photo of Miguel pulling the pint I'll tell you what we're in as well, if possible. Nice photo of here. Oh, that looks, looks good. Four all in yeah, very good. Thank you. You wouldn't think that's his cousin, though, would you, really? Gentleman on the second one. Right. Yeah. 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 It's you hard think to see so. a resemblance. Yeah. So. Job done. Yeah, finally came together. So the story's gone now. So I'll just wait and get some reaction maybe tomorrow, see what people think about it. But it's good that it all came together. And the direct interview with Miguel himself would have been great. But as I said, you can't hang around all the time waiting and asking what if. Sometimes you just have to go with the story and accept that it's okay as it is. And I'm certainly happy with how it turned out. Have you marked an exclusive? On page four, have you marked uh, an exclusive? No. Can we do that? It's probably okay, I'd say. Yeah. The way. yeah. I'd say it's okay the way it is. Yeah, because you might yeah. get more, you see, you might get more radio. Well, I think I'd say George Clooney's face will attract yeah, people yeah, anyway. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right then. If he wants to do it, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Kieran wants to mark it as exclusive. So, um, personally, um, I mean, I don't like blowing our trumpet to that extent all the time, but K Kieran likes to mark if we have a particular story which he feels is worth promoting more so than another story maybe. So Kieran's the boss, so we'll go along with Kieran. Here, here. <laughs> so you might be on the radio then tomorrow with that. Who knows, you might get a few phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. So she's gonna put an exclusive on it. Okay. So that'll be sorted there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Exclusive it is so <laughs>